More shocking details and reaction tonight to the murder of a popular Union County teacher and high school coach. Barney Harris was hired at Union Academy Charter School in 2017 as a Spanish teacher and then served as the head coach for the varsity basketball team and track teams. Last Thursday, he was killed in a shootout with a Mexican drug cartel. This happened in Alamance County. Authorities say Harris was trying to steal money and drugs from the cartel. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson has been following this story all day, talking to people who knew Harris. She joins us from his former school. Lexi. Shock and disbelief are some of the words used to describe the community's reaction to Harris's death. He was a beloved coach and teacher here at Union Academy, but in reality, he was living somewhat of a double life. Outside Union Academy, a display of remembrance for coach and teacher Barney Harris. Now we're learning Harris's death is being investigated as a murder. Barney Harris shot and killed in a shootout with drug cartel. Nothing surprises me. There's there's people and families that, that have relatives that violate the law and, and a lot of them never know. Last Thursday, Harris went to a mobile park in Alamance County to steal money and drugs from the cartel. Deputies say Harris and his brother-in-law, Stephen Stewart Jr., shot and killed an 18-year-old drug runner. Well, some video footage off of Mr. Harris's phone. They had been here looking before. That's when a shootout happened. Harris killed in the gunfire, even though he was wearing a bulletproof vest. I know the cartel. Uh, you know, they have the reputation. They don't lose. They're going to pay somebody back. That's what worries me right now. Harris was hired at Union Academy in 2017 as a Spanish teacher and then served as the head coach for the varsity basketball team and track team. Shock on Facebook comments, one reading, everyone that knew Barney thought he was a good dude and he was. Unfortunately, good people also have a dark side sometimes and that's what you see here. And last week, the school released a statement on Harris's death, saying that he would be missed. And I did reach out to the school again as we're learning more information about Harris and this case. We have yet to hear back. Reporting in Monroe for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.